Hi Virgo, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and it is general. So of course they cannot resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs if that's the case, or you can book a personal reading for which all the information is in the description box. All right, so for the overall energy for Virgo, we have compromise. Okay, so... Either there's a compromise that needs to be made or you are moving towards making a compromise with another person or that person compromising with you. It does go both ways. So let's let's see. Virgo, what is this compromise? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, second half of November. What is going on here? Okay, Virgo, so for the situation, we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Pentacles, Recent Past, the Ace of Cups, Near Future, we have the Moon. For your energy, we have Strength. For them, we have the Eight of Pentacles. More About You is the Tower. For them, the Star. And the potential outcome here is the Nine of Wands. And I think we just had the same outcome for Taurus. Um, okay, so, Virgo, well, we do have Leo showing up here. We have Pisces, Aquarius, but of course it could be just about any sign. All right, so for the situation with the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Pentacles, there's this new beginning, there's this new beginning or a new potential, all right, um, for for a brand new beginning with a particular person in the 3D and the practical. But it feels like what's holding this back from actually manifesting could be some codependency here. Um, somebody just not, either codependency or not feeling um, a very high sense of self-worth, which could be the factor here. So we'll see. There has been a lot of love with you and this person in the past. All right, um, and it feels like coming up, there's a little bit of mystery almost. So we'll see what that's about. Could be mystery, it could be some fears um, coming up to the surface. Um, for you, with strength and the tower, you're undergoing some kind of a shift here. Um, it could even be that, that you're going through some kind of a breakthrough and you're being called to be very strong. And you might feel like this is actually taking quite a bit of energy from your end or that it's requiring a whole lot of strength on your side. Um, for them, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Star, this is somebody who's really working hard, really being focused, moving in a way um, that's taking them to what their wish is, to what it is that they want. And I do feel like they have some guidance here from the universe as well all right whatever the case it, there's still a little bit of a way to go here with that nine of wands for the potential outcome it could be that there's um, a little bit of resistance on somebody's end but for the most part i feel like this is pushing through it you know like things are feeling hard but you're pushing through you're not you know you're not giving up so let's clarify let's see what's going on here and hopefully we'll see where this compromise fits in. All right, so let's see the Ace of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. All right, we have the Four of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles again, and the Ten of Cups. All right. Okay, so somebody's not really happy here. Um, there's definitely a lot of love in this connection. There's definitely, you know, um, this Ten of Cups is, is here. Like there is, there is a lot of love between you and this other person. And there is that potential to have this Ten of Cups. That's the thing. That's what this Ace of Pentacles is referring to. Um, but again, I feel like either somebody is settling or just keeping themselves in a um, unhappy place with that Four of Cups. And again, it's coming in as being unhappy because the challenge is that Nine of Pentacles, not being 100% um, either free or, you know, 
self-reliant or independent of another situation and that's why I said there might be some codependency here and not necessarily between you and this person it could be between this person and someone else for example okay it could be anything or it could it could be you it could be you okay it's not clear just yet so we will see let's uh, clarify strength for for you Ooh, and look at this. We have the lovers, the star showing up again, and the two of swords. All right, so Gemini showing up as well, and Aquarius showing up again, second time. Um, Virgo. You were really, really wishing or hoping for this connection to come together or for something to be resolved between the two of you. And I feel like that just has not happened, all right? With that two of swords, there's been some kind of a clash or there's been some kind of a, a denial. Maybe you feel like you've been denied, for example. Um, or maybe there has been um, an indecision on someone's end. I just, I don't really feel like that's on you. I just feel like this was something that you were really wishing for and really believed in and hoped for and because it, it hasn't gotten there yet, you're, you're feeling like you don't even know what is going on, what you should be thinking. And I feel like that's why you have this tower here. So let's actually clarify the tower. It almost feels like you're trying to block this um, connection out of your mind with that Two of Swords. Trying to, like cancel is, is what I'm getting like you want to cancel that wish that you had or the hope that you had because you feel like that's not going to happen and so I don't want to have this hope anymore all right so clarifying the tower I and mean, you have so much major arcana showing up in this reading <laughs> and especially in your energy I mean look at that we have one two three four five six out of seven cards that I've pulled for you so far Six out of the seven. So there's major, major things happening for you. Um, you're going through a lot. You're definitely going through a lot. So clarifying the tower, we have the emperor as well as the magician. Okay, so here's the thing. You know, this might be whatever you're going through at the moment. It might feel like it's really, really difficult. Um, you just feel like everything is being destroyed. You know, that hope that you had or that belief that you had. And it's almost like feeling like, well, you know, if this, if I was mistaken, well, then that just, it's like, what was I holding on to all this time? You know, it's, it's kind of like that. Feeling like everything was just a lie that you believed in almost. Not, a, not exactly like that, but it gives that feeling though, even though in your mind, you know that that's not the case. Um, so here, yeah, so the thing is, is that through this tower, though, you are coming out stronger. You are coming out as, as this emperor and as this magician, really taking control, really being able to find what your powers are and the control that you have over your own life, over your own happiness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like you're like that's part of what you're what you're learning here because the tower always comes with a lesson. And this could even be lessons um, revolving around, you know, just control and manifesting overall in general, you know, like what can you manifest and what is not in your power to manifest. And I know, you know, people say, oh, you can manifest anything. Yeah, but when it comes to other people's free will, that's not necessarily the case. So for some of you, you know, that could be part of the lesson and for others of you, it's not, it's just about yourself, you know, you being strong and you gaining control over certain aspects of your own world. So let's see what's going on with this person here with the Eight of Pentacles. All right, the Four of Swords, the Six of Cups and the Page of Wands. Yeah, see, so the interesting thing is that you're, you're, you're releasing that hope or feeling like it's been destroyed 
feeling like, you know, and it could even be that you're feeling powerless, right, as you go through this. But the reason why you're feeling powerless is so that you can actually discover your power and where you do have power, okay? So just a side note there. Um, but it's interesting because as you're feeling that, it's like this person is actually focused on healing. Um, this person is actually focused on healing this, even the connection between the two of you. There's, if you're not together, there's a lot of nostalgia. There's a lot of nostalgia, and I feel like this person wants to mend um, the connection in whatever way, you know, would be beneficial for the connection. I do feel like they're a little bit passive in a way doing this, like it's not really visible to you. And I feel like that's also why we have the moon coming up here because there's a lot of things that are not seen. Okay, but there is a lot of healing and there's a lot of this person focusing on how they can mend this connection. So let's see the start for their energy. Two of Cups, the World, and the Nine of Swords. Yeah, they're definitely, um, wow. This person is really hoping and wishing that this connection can can come together. They're, they're hoping for this. They're wanting this. Um, I know it might, again, and rules can be reversed, okay? Um, so I know it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it. That's the thing. That's the thing, because you, you're like really in the midst of um, giving up hope here for this and that's okay you know that could be what you are meant to do and actually that is what I'm getting you are meant to feel that way so you know you have to take that as a given you know what it is that you can see on the surface right now um, but this person is wishing for this all right that's the thing here it's like they want a completion of this connection and when I say completion it's not an ending it's not wanting this to end or be over they're wanting a successful completion like okay you know like I wish this was already done like that we were already together and because of that there's a lot of um, there's a lot of stress that this person is dealing with because of that so yeah I don't know why they're not um, taking action you might know but you know it's going to be different for everybody but let's see the moon for what is coming up. Oh. Alright, so we have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, as well as the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, so there's a lot that's happening here behind the scenes. Um, there's definitely love here with this person, okay? If you feel like this is someone that you're just done with and, you know, that there is no love, you know, that this is just not your reading because I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of love here, all right? And I'm seeing this person putting in that effort. It's just not, I'm not saying they're perfect, all right? I'm not saying that at all. But this person does want a reconnection or to mend things, okay? Because maybe for some of you, you are in, in, um, in communication, okay? Either way, this person wants to fix things. And there is a lot of love here, and I do see them actually taking action. But again, with the Hermit showing up, well, that's also your energy here. But I feel like this is them doing it kind of on a on an individual basis, like, like hiding it. Again, it's like you can't really see it because most of this work is happening within, within their own selves. And here they are with that Seven of Pentacles just reinforcing the Eight of Pentacles that they are putting in that effort. They are taking those steps. You just can't see it. All right, so, Virgo, let's see that Nine of Wands for the potential outcome here. <laughs> we have the Moon showing up again, okay, so Pisces showing up again. Um, the King of Swords as well as the Empress. Yeah, you know, this is this is not done. And um, who did I say got this? Did I say, I think it was Taurus. Um, yeah, you know, don't don't give up, basically, on what it is that you are doing for you. Not I'm not talking about the connection, okay? Because if it's meant to be, it will be whether you give up on this hope or not, all right? Because from the looks of it, it kind of mostly depends on the other person anyway. 
But what I'm seeing here, I feel like that's mostly for your person. They're not giving up. They're just doing it in a way, again, where it's not very, really visible. And I feel like there are certain things that you don't know. There are certain things that you're not aware of. But I feel like this person is really taking a stance here, right, with the King of Swords. Um, at least moving in that direction, okay? And moving towards that Empress. And so are you. So are you. It's like you're both doing your work um, on your own. It doesn't feel like it to you because you're going through this tower, but it's ultimately moving you towards that Empress. And I love how we have both the Emperor as well as the Empress out. And again, like just so much major arcana. So there are major things overall that are happening for you at the second half of November. And I feel like that compromise, really, that's what it is. It's almost like there's this... I feel like it's a compromise even in the 5D, like a coming together, like a working together. It's like a working together, but, but separately, and that's the compromise. And eventually leading up to a, a compromise in the, in the 3D, in the good sense. So let's see, Virgo, if this resonated with the final message for you. Oh, and I feel like, did we get this for Taurus as well? So maybe some of you are dealing with the Taurus. I can't remember. Another sign got this. We have the fixed moon, hold your vision. So yeah, I feel like they're holding their vision um, for what it is that they want. Um, yeah, this reading is just very similar. I think it was, I think it was Taurus. Um, may have even been Sagittarius, though I'm not sure. And this is also telling you to hold your vision, right? Be stepping into that emperor, empress energy for your own self, right? Becoming that magician, finding where it is that you do have control, finding that power within yourself. Um, yeah, and we also had this one flip over, which is the cardinal moon. Be bold and make the first move. So take this one as it resonates, because I, I mostly get that this has to do with your, with your person, not so much you. Um, but definitely could be you. All right, depending. So, um, yeah, that is it, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching and much love.